How's it guys? It's Ilan and Eric here from Sleep Geek and today we want to talk to you about measuring success. Mm. Now, as you know, most people tend to just look at the number on the scale and that's kind of, you know, in this health and fitness space, that's the only number that any, anyone looks at or it's the only um, thing that people pay attention to. Mm. So what Eric and I want to chat to you about today is to just make you present and show you that there are multiple ways that you can measure success over this challenge and in your health journey. So Eric, like, what are some of the other ways that people can measure success? Well, before we jump into what they can measure, okay. I want to say, you know, what does that number on the scale represent? Because many people sure. find, they're defined by the scale. Like it's a very emotional thing, they gain one kilogram, they're suddenly hopeless and a bad person, they lose a kilogram and suddenly they're on top of the world. But, you know, if you like how you look, if you like how you feel, if you have good relationships, if you can perform physically the way you want to, what does the scale actually mean to you? I think it's an important thing for you to think about for yourself. Sure. You know, we, we all have these kind of these numbers that we want to be on, like and even if it's just a vague idea or very specific numbers, but yeah. what does that number represent to you? Is it your happiness? Yeah. Is it your, you know, your self-worth? Or is it just a representation of hard work? And particularly after over a short period of time, like a challenge, mm. things can fluctuate. They can. I mean, you know, yeah. your fluids, hormones, hormones, the menstruation cycles. Yeah. There's so many different things that can influence that scale. And you know, in our challenge, we have a weight loss category and a transformation category. Yeah. And the challenges don't choose what category they are in, but they can work towards a specific category, and then the judges put them into the category for the best results. But they can both achieve great progress in the same areas. For example, you asked me earlier, what are some other measurements that you can use apart from the scale? And that could be like, you know, your, your strength and your, your physical performance, like how is your endurance, how is your strength, how is your mobility or your agility? How's that improved? And that applies to both weight loss and for muscle gain or, gain or transformation categories. Um, you can think like, you know, look at your skin health and your gut health. Those are great indicators of how you're doing inside. You know, are you actually healthy? I mean, weight loss, and muscle building can be very unhealthy activities, depending on how you do it. And your energy, for example. Energy, yeah. I mean, like, is your energy increasing or is your energy decreasing? I mean, you can train and eat to the point of having no energy. Yep. Yeah. And I like, know that's not winning. To I mean, you. both yeah. training and eating less are stresses on the body. They can be positive stress, but too much can be negative. Absolutely. So, what I think each person needs to do, whether it's a challenge or whether it's, you know, your life plan, mm -hmm. you need to define what's winning for you. Yes. You know, like, what is winning? So, for example, in terms of the challenge, yes, everybody wants to win the 10,000 Rand prize or the mm. great prizes, but, like, for that 80 challenge, for you, just think about it. What's winning for you? Relatively speaking, you know, you spend five, six hundred Rand on that entry. Mm. At the end of that eight weeks, are you going to feel good about having made that investment, what does that mean for you? You know, for someone starting from scratch who has lived unhealthy for the last 10 years, mm -hmm. even if you make healthy choices 50% of the time for that eight weeks, you're winning. Just getting started, actually taking action. You're winning because you are 50% better than you were. Yeah. You know, for someone, you know, you've got to figure out for you, you can't measure yourself against other people. Yeah. You've got to figure out, here's my start point. Some people sleep really badly. Mm have poor energy. Mm. There's so many things you can measure. And the challenge forces you to address that because if you've got poor sleep or if you've got poor time management, getting healthy and losing weight is going to be so much harder. Absolutely. So I think identify the things that you want to improve on. Mm. You know, if you want to be a more active person mm. and you feel like you want to move more, mm. for example, let's say you're very sedentary yeah. and you know you realize that you have to move seven, eight, nine thousand steps a day to be an active person. Go. Yeah. You know, exactly. So for the eight weeks, you could move eight thousand steps a day, not necessarily lose ten or fifteen kilograms, but you're winning. You'll feel better and your you know your blood work will go better, like your cholesterol and your that kind of thing, that'll definitely improve. Absolutely. Um, your circulation. And yeah. And I think people also need to say this is a stepping stone. Yes. Like, I mean, yes, you know, the challenge, it's an eight-week intervention. Mm. But Sleek Geek, we're about long-term lifestyle intervention. Mm. We want you guys to be healthy for a lifetime. Yeah. This is a tool. This is a, this is a stepping stone. It's a short period of time. So use this as a springboard yes. to your like next that. set of goals. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you might not have got, like, let's say, you know, you shoot for the stars. Let's say you wanted to get here. This challenge, you only got here. Mm. But the point is, is it's a you stepping yeah. stone. Yeah. Yeah to your next level of goal. goal. So, yeah. so yeah, so all we're saying is, you know what, don't just let, don't be ruled by just 
biopically, by one measurement. Mm. I think very hard about what you want to achieve and think about what winning is. You know, for some people, having a family meal, let's say you're a family, you always get takeout, you always eat at the TV. You know, if for eight weeks it means that you are sitting around the dinner table with your family, eating a relatively healthy meal yeah. with some vegetables, mm. having conversation, mm. interacting, yeah. you know what? That's winning to me. Yeah. So yeah. Winning has comes in many shapes and forms. I think we've made the point. Well, some, also add sometimes yeah. that these measurements for success aren't always obvious. Yeah. You know, we tend to focus on the scale, the scale, the scale, or if you're an athlete, you focus on your time, or your performance, that kind of thing. If you're a businessman, you focus on your, your return on investment or your productivity. And we, we, we don't notice all these things that are going on in our peripheral vision. Mm. So you can be looking at the scale and it's not moving, but if you actually look around, you'll see, hang on, you look a lot better in the mirror, or your, your, your clothes fit a bit better, or you, you know, you said you've got better energy, you're waking up more positive, you know, you're looking forward to going to the gym, you're getting into a, a positive, healthy routine, you're becoming a healthier person as who you actually are versus who you're trying to be. Yeah. Those are all great measurements of progress. Absolutely. You know, you, you're becoming more efficient at work, you know, you can think better, you can, um, you're getting better sleep, you're feeling better, you're resting better. And these aren't always obvious if you are focusing on the scale. The scale is a great tool, it really is. But sometimes there's things that come before things. Like there's things that come before the scale. Maybe that means you know, consistency comes before the scale. Are you, yeah. like, is your consistency towards health and fitness improving? Because if it does, then there's a very good chance that the scale is going to start moving in the right direction. I mean, another danger also, if you look at things like the scale, for example, is starting to compare yourself to other people. Mm. You know, we all change at different rates. We all have different bodies. Yeah. And, you know, seeing someone else post on the group or in the community that they've been challenged and they've got this progress, and you look at your progress versus mm. their progress, and you think, mm. well, what am I doing wrong? Yeah. So that's also another grave danger with looking at measurement marketing. Mm. You know, yeah. It's you versus you. Definitely. Yeah, Compare your starting point to when you get to. That's probably the best advice that I can give you. Um, yeah, I mean, I think one more thing is that one of the most common things that our most successful challengers say about the challenge as their testimonial is not necessarily about their weight loss or the transformation, but it's about their mindset shift and also the people that they've, they've become friends with. You know, Absolutely. It's a challenge we encourage people to make friends, buddy up, partner up, join teams. Join teams. And you become more like the people you surround yourself with. So the more you spend around like-minded people, the better. And this is a great introduction to meeting those people. I'm so glad you mentioned that. Mm -hmm. That is such an awesome point because you know people love the team experience. And we've had so many people who, they didn't lose that much weight, but they said, you know what, I've made friends with this remarkable bunch of people. And they're gonna keep going and, and Exactly, and then they stay in those groups of friends, yes. and now they go yes. and do park runs together. Hikes. And like, it was tremendous value for those people yeah. just, just to find each other. So, you know, not everyone's the same. Not everyone gets the same thing out of the challenge. Mm -hmm. But everyone can get something out of the challenge. That's for exactly. sure. And like with anything in life, it's always what you make out of it. Definitely. What you put in is what you get out of it. <laughs> so guys, we'll see you there. And uh, let's measure our success in many numerous ways. And uh, cheers.